I just thought I'd make a video um, basically explaining the um, the B double vid I made many years ago my old place of employment um, just thought you know there's uh, probably guys starting out or um, wanting to give a couple of pointers and how to reverse a uh, B double onto a uh, fairly tight dock sort of thing um, I've sort of done this for many years you know uh, night shift um, you know probably a couple of hundred times a year um, tried many techniques sort of thing different approaches um, until I eventually found something that worked for me and that pretty much uh, once I found what worked for me I'd I use that every time and uh, yeah so anyway this is what I would do uh, this is the yard here and uh, typically you come in this way but you know after you're filling up you'd end up coming up this way sort of thing um, just one thing in the in the uh, you can't see on this on the uh, Google Maps shot here but there was a like a dotted line coming down here I'd sort of use as a bit of a reference um, I think uh, reference points are fantastic I think most truck drivers can agree um, just for instance actually these are uh, these lines here uh, you can see uh, these are the single docks and these are the B double docks here um, the lines here basically only go to there and in the video actually the lines also only went to here um, I kind of advocated at the time to get the lines extended um, so it's easier to line yourself up with the dock and they actually done it which is amazing and it made life so much easier um, and pretty much once the lines are in there um, quite often I wouldn't actually have to go forward um, to get onto the dock I mean not every time but it's sort of nice when it happens anyway um, but this pretty much proves, uh, you know, sort of the approach I was using does work. Um, anyway, so, uh, say for instance, I wanted to get onto this dock here. Um, I'd be coming along here and, uh, with, so with a tight area like this, you know, you'd have to get around this truck here. You don't want to be too far, um, over this way because you'll have trouble skewering it around sort of thing um, and you don't want to be too far over this side either because you won't be able to swing it around I used to sort of use a bit of a, uh, a three quarters over approach I think I'd come around here uh, probably end up about you know, approximately here sort of thing um, now one thing uh, I'd sort of know I'd sort of know the docks and where it'd have to turn which made uh, life a lot easier um, and what I used to do was uh, I used to know I had to start turning on the third dock sort of thing so anyway so I used to count one two three sorry I wrote one twice didn't I one two three so I aim for that and they come along I'd count you know one thousand two thousand three thousand and then on the third I'd just turn really sharply to the left like that and then back in again and then I'd straighten up and stop about there. Um, now one thing I don't like about the video actually is that I still had a bit to learn I think because uh, the prime move was crooked to the A trailer. What I'd try to do from that point onwards, um, it's much easier, is I'd have the, uh, the prime mover actually straight with the A trailer. So you'd end up looking like that sort of thing and the B trailer would be, you know, at like a bit of a diagonal like that. So that's that's your starting point for reversing. Um, what I love about having the straight uh, prime mover to the A trailer is that um, you can tell, you can see where you need to turn the prime mover. Um, if you need to go in tighter, you turn the prime mover to the left sort of thing. You know, when you start reversing, you see where you need to turn straight away. So you start reversing straight, and then you basically turn left to go tighter, or you go right if you don't need to go so uh, as tight sort of thing. Um, and pretty much uh, this is one this is why I like the line here because that's uh, you know you can you can see where you got to end up sort of thing it's not blind like it was in the video um, and pretty much what you're what you're aiming for is the middle axle on the line because the uh, the trailer when you have three axles it's going to pivot on the middle axle so you want to try to get the middle axle lined up with that line there so when you're reversing you know you try to yeah you just aim for the middle axle on the line there and you know try to swing it around on that 
you know, if, you, if, you, if you're over the line too much, you know, you sort of risk running into the truck on this side sort of thing. So you want to try to, you know, or, or the hug, you know, I'm trying to sort of hug this truck here and just sort of, you know, aim, you know, aim for the, aim for the middle axle on the, on the line there sort of thing. And you just, you know, use your instincts to sort of get it in. Um, assuming if, if you're in B doubles, you've probably already mastered the uh, prime mover and A trail sort of thing. So you just, um, you know, you, you pretty much, the middle part there becomes kind of like the rear of the prime mover. Um, and except the thing is, uh, to get the to get the B trail and move the direction you want sort of thing, you've got to be really quick with the steering wheel. Um, you know, you got to yeah, like quick turns, like slow turns, ain't gonna cut it sort of thing. Um, you know, because to uh, to do like a little adjustment on the B trail, you've got to make the prime mover go from you know one side of the A trailer to the other side sort of thing. You know that you know to make it um, sharp or not so sharp. But yeah, just um, you know, it takes a bit of getting used to, that's for sure. Um, and you know, so I pretty much use that even if I wasn't um, at the uh, at that particular warehouse where I'd sort of know you know the space of the dock sort of thing. If I was at a if I was at a, another warehouse where I'd have to do it, I'd just sort of um, you know kind of use my imagination, or I'd just sort of go about a similar sort of speed. You know, I'd go along the dock sort of thing and just count. You know. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, then I'd do the same thing. Like, if I was to get into these docks here, well, similar spacing, I guess, but you get the sort of point. If I had to go for that dock here, I'd just do the same thing. Go along here, I'd just sort of count, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, you know, rough idea sort of thing, and then, you know, yeah, straight, you know, sharp left, back in again, like that. Just um, same sort of thing. And obviously with the trailers here, you'd have to be more over. Um, and I guess there are other times where, say, just imagine, sometimes there would be no trucks here at all, you know, so you'd sort of think, okay, great. Um, so what I would do in that case, if I was coming in and I didn't have to fuel up, I'd just come in um, and just sort of, I uh, guess I'd probably just come in like this, aim for the dock like that and just sort of do a bit of a loop around and then I'd just sort of snake it and, you know, if you get it, if you get it just right, you can just go straight back sort of thing without having to do much at all. Um, if it was the other direction though, if I was coming this way and all no trucks on the dock, it's sort of, um, I don't know, it's sort of trickier coming from this because, um, you know, if, if you try to go forward like that, you're going to be doing that loop, but on the blind side sort of thing, it can be really hard to sort of tell, um, you know, where the, where the B trailer is. So I'd just sort of, I'm pretty sure I used to just come in here and just sort of, you know, I'd, I'd sort of, go in like that but I'd still sort of end up that way like you know have a similar sort of have a similar sort of approach but it'd be easier because the trail would already be sort of um, you know, angled a bit more nicely toward it sort of thing um, and also just like when once once you really get the hang of it sort of thing you can sort of you can sort of get the um, get it so you go you, you, you reverse all the way in keeping the uh, keeping it all in your sight sort of thing so you can always see the side of the A trailer and B trailer you know, because uh, once once you have to manoeuvre the prime mover on the blind side, you can't see anything, you know, the, your left mirror is going to be pointing at the side of your trailer and the driver's side mirror is going to be pointing, you know, in that direction. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's just about it. Um, good luck out there. Uh, bye.